Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, um, welcome to uh, Final Fantasy Three using the uh, Western Any Percent Rules. This is going to be the shortest RPG of the marathon. I promise that there is nothing untoward happening here. No, not at all. Um... Hi everyone, I'm Zoe Vermillion. Uh, before we get started with the run, there are a couple donations that I've been asked to read. Uh, so we have $3 from Demarine. Uh, it says, I would be remiss if I didn't say nice things about Syl. Two years ago, we met and started on this wonderful speedrunning journey together, and it's been utterly fantastic. Without them, I'm not here. Heart. And then we have $10 from Silverfire. It says, I can't let Demi say nice things about me without saying nice things about her. Over the last two years, she's been a wonderful, loving friend who pushes me to be the best version of myself. Putting this toward Odin Sphere's best girl, Velvet. Y'all are. Alright, so uh, with that, uh, I'm going to do a couple things as far as the naming goes here. This is not really needed for the run, but I wanted to be silly. So if y'all wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm going to be doing without giving too much away, uh, particularly Leggy, because Leggy knows this route, so I'm going to do this real quick. Yeah, so, uh, as, as previously mentioned, this is the shortest uh, RPG of the run, um, and it is very heavily RNG manipulated and very heavily glitched. We'll be seeing the glitch happen at the very, very end. Where is the character I'm looking for? So what you're saying is we're not going to get devouts in this run. We are unfortunately no, no devouts in this run. We, we will get some interesting yeah. jobs. I. She can call them. Back. She can call them jobs. Okay. <laughs> uh, I am struggling to find the character I need to do this quickly. So, uh, with, through the magic of the internet, I am going to do this, and all my characters are named. So. Woo. All right, so uh, I guess we are ready. I'll explain what the names are in a moment. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to count us down. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, so first things first, uh, <clears throat> we have to go into a mandatory encounter here. Um, and I have to run from it. And I need people to survive. Uh, <laughs> this is a very RNG heavy run. You need everybody to survive, preferably. Preferably, yes. Indeed. Also, as far as the names go, um, these are the... Oh, there's one person dead. That's potentially bad. Um, these are the Katakana versions of Leggy, Demi, Sil, and Inven. Aww. So, my lovely ho uh, host, my lovely commentators, and my lovely reacher. Yeah, so... We're going to grab a potion from that first chest there. Um, and this is all fairly straightforward. We're going to drink this potion right here, in particular, because by doing so, uh, we, we advance the RNG just enough to skip an encounter we'd otherwise take. Yeah, this has a very strict step route. Uh, luckily, it's an incredibly short run, so it's very easy to memorize. Uh, and then we need to go to RNG here. We'll see. Sounds good. Yeah. So we're coming up to our first boss fight. Um, whew, this can be a run killer because we're going to be using an item that... what It's a offensive uh, ice attack. And it can roll really nice or really, really low. And it is... Basically, the the biggest chunk of damage, as you can see, we're kind of plinking off this uh, land turtle's armor. All right, so I've got two characters dead. As long as my first character and my and that last character both survive, this is still a uh, stable run, and I can complete it. Oh, got a crit! All right, we're good. We're in the clear. This run is going to be completed. Yay! Uh, next up, we have a minute and thirty seconds of unskippable cutscene. Yay! This run is. Optimally, my, my PB is like 650. This takes up a minute and 30 seconds of it. 
So does that mean we have a minute and a half to talk about how wonderful you are, Zoe? Uh, I suppose. Well, then we better get to work then. You're wonderful. Yeah, and I can't believe how wonderful you've made my life every single day you've been a part of. Don't make me cry, I'm speedrunning. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that first name in the programming line there might uh, might be memorable to the Final Fantasy fans out there. That is Nasir, Nasir Gabelli, the programmer for Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy II, Final Fantasy III, and more importantly, Secret of Mana. <laughs> yep. And just all around an awesome yeah. dude, even if we do uh, occasionally curse his name while trying to the uh, underlying code of these games. Yeah, so this is this game is great because we get to see two different sets of credits. We get to see this credits, and then we'll do a credits warp and see more credits. Yo, dog. Other names that amaze me is that, is that Hironobu Sakaguchi's name is in this list of credits, which is wild to think about that he's been doing this for that long. <laughs> right? I've barely been alive for that long. Uh, so, uh, as for the question in chat, uh, Mike the Magician, the um, reason why is I need the first character to live regardless. That is required for the run, and as long as I have any other character in my party alive, I can finish the run. And we're not supposed to get any more encounters at this point. The run is basically over. Yeah, I'm coming back in. I'm going to grab the money I need to set up the memory overflow and the payload for the uh, ace that I'll be performing. This pause here is not a mistake. For some reason it's required. It's in the tutorial. I don't know why yet. And now, as we go through town, we're going to be doing some very, very specific actions in order, in order to make sure that we've set up the appropriate er areas of memory correctly. Um, One of which I don't understand, like playing this piano from the right hand side. Yeah. Yo, know, Ace is whack like that sometimes. You just do the things it tells you to and it works. Yep. Do we piano flex on this route? I don't know, but I heard y'all like, you know, music from Free Enterprise, so I gave you a little bit more there. <laughs> I, that that I definitely that qualifies as a piano flex to me. <laughs> That's fair. And we're going to be buying a couple stacks of shields and daggers um, to use to get, get our self set up when we get to the actual uh, performing of the glitch. We're going to be needing to use those to basically get our items finally set up so that we can start accessing commands that we really shouldn't have access to. Yeah, so basically uh, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be doing a memory overflow, which is going to overflow my inventory data into my character's job data, and it's going to corrupt their job data and give me access to a really fun command. All right, so this is going to take a while. I have to do this over and over to fill my inventory, so y'all are free to say more nice things. Yeah, this is a uh, countdown percent, um, so I think I should also say nice things about Demarine, who has been a fantastic friend and just all-around wonderful person, and the reason where I am in so many of the communities that I'm a part of. And I am so sorry for that. I. I have nothing to say to you other than I apologize. I mean, in some cases I accept your apology, and in some cases, how dare you? Ah, <laughs> <sighs> that's fair. I'm very happy I got to meet Zoe at, uh, at GDQ this year. I'm happy I got to meet Demarine at GDQ this year. There, there may or may not be a picture of heart-shaped rice out there. No, oh, yeah, I remember the rice. That's so... Alright. Almost messed up there. Fortunately didn't. I was able to cancel out of that command. Almost done here. Okay, so when I 
do this last item, uh, it's gonna fully corrupt my jobs. And I'm gonna press B, B, B. This is gonna break. No, it didn't. Wow, credits warp. We're done. Woo! Sorry, I, I thought it was gonna break because the uh, a particular icon didn't appear in that second uh, broken menu that it normally does, uh, which usually results in a crash, but it worked. So, there we go. We finished Final Fantasy III. Yes. Which is the best. The best. So, uh, if, we, if we have just a few brief seconds, I want to talk about why I learned this game. It'll take me like 30 seconds. Because uh, I'm like way ahead of estimate. Because uh, I got it first try. I have to start learning this game because there's a meme with frame fatales that uh, frame fatales one and two both were in. Uh, Final Fantasy one and two were in frame fatales one and two, and with frame fatales three coming up, I was like, someone needs to run FF three, and so I decided to learn it. Demarine told me not to. Demarine said this game is cursed. I have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's it's a really fun run. It's really not that hard to learn. Uh, the RNG is really mean. Um, and I'm a little nervous about it, considering it's I'm going to be running this in RPG Limit Break, where I'm not going to have access to my safety states. So we'll see how it goes there. But I'm glad I was able to show it off successfully first try here um, with all of my wonderful friends around me. And my lovely girlfriend. Who She's pretty lovely. Aww. Also, Zoe, mm -hmm. did you know that we started talking six months ago on Monday? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I want to see, there's a particular funny bit here at the beginning of the credits once it starts showing the characters, that if, if I did this memory corruption correctly, it shows the corrupted job um, and shows the sprite for it. So I want to see if that happens properly. Also, just... For as a point of emphasis, the song that I picked for for the playlist for my run is the final boss music, which we clearly did not get to hear. It's good music. You just yeah. don't get to hear it. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good song. All right, waiting for it to do its thing. All right, see if it does it. I agree, Scala. We all want the corruption. Wait, I don't. There it is. There is the corrupt job. <laughs> it's it's X death. Yeah, I love I love its walking animation is my favorite part of it. <laughs> all right, uh, so that's all I've got. That's the last little fun Easter egg in this. Uh, so unless there were donations that came in after the two very sweet ones earlier, uh, I think I'm done here. Thank you all so much. Uh, thanks to the balance. I really appreciate it. As a reminder, this is, uh, that was Final Fantasy 3, and this is RPGs We Love 3. So, uh, up next we have Odin Sphere. I can't pronounce this word, I swear. Let me help me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, up next, up next, we have Demarine running Odin Sphere Leifthrasir. Now you say it, so. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just too big on that. Odin Sphere Leifthrasir.